Bob Baffert's familiar blue and gold saddle towels are always in evidence Sunland Derby week, and this year is no exception. The man himself is in Dubai for the World Cup races, so top assistant Jim Barnes once again finds himself here at Sunland. That's right, well, it's tough this time of year because we're spread out and um, I need to stay home with the three-year-olds and, and, and he chose to go to Dubai, which we have two good chances in Dubai this year with Game on Dude and the Factor, so uh, I think we're looking good. The barn is definitely looking good in the $800,000 Sunland Derby. Morning line favorite Castaway comes off a smasher in the Southwest at Oklahoma. Reckless Jerry, but it's Castaway in a runaway. Castaway, much the best in the first division of the Southwest. It was a big step forward for the $435,000 yearling who began his career last August, but didn't break his maiden until his sixth start. Well, I mean, you know, some horses it takes three or four races before they come around. So, you know, it just depends on the horse. Uh, He's always been a good horse and we knew he had the potential and it just needed to, to get racing fit and figure out what was going on. The horses come in so early and it's all about speed. It's all sprinting, sprinting, sprinting. So you really just don't know until you go long and mo oh, most of our horses are bred to go long. So and you don't get really a chance to run long until later in the year. So that's probably was the main thing. Baffert's other derby colts stirred up cost a mere 420,000. He comes in with considerably less experience than his stablemate, just three lifetime starts. In his most recent, Stirred Up broke his maiden going two turns at Santa Anita. Stirred Up, holy candy, gonna hit it together. Stirred Up, one and a head, Stirred Up. But the Sunland Derby won't be the barn's only concern. Last year, they brought Plum Pretty, who turned the Sunland Park Oaks into a 25 length laugher, then went on to win the Kentucky Oaks. This time, they offer Princess Arabella, and she may be something special as well. You know, she's one that showed she's pretty much a superstar right from the start. I mean, we've known she could run before we ever ran her. But it's just about getting races in them, you, need, you know. She broke her maiden first time out, then won a, the first condition allowance race, and now she's ready to step up. On the inside with Princess Arabella, the jockey riding very, very confidently here, almost like an exercise workout here. It's Princess Arabella just coming home without taking a deep breath. Today. We're gonna be here anyway, so why not bring a good one?